What's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad right here, Premier Leather Crafters in Alabama. The dirty, dirty. Yeah, let's go ahead and get all this yawning out the way. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, up doing some work, and I thought that it would be great to do this video for you guys to just show you. We're sticking with the same theme. I'm sticking with the same theme of knowing your tools, learning what your tools can do, learning what shapes you can do with your tools to make another shape and just make your work really pop and stand out. So, and that's what we're dealing with today. Uh, and it's not going to be a long video, but for those who have it, this is going to just giving you a quick video um, about this tool here. This is a triangle steep beveler you can tell by the way that it's smooth let me get the light correct for you guys you can see how that's smooth in right there that is very smooth and then it's pitched pitched right there to give you that that um that deep beveling into your cuts or especially when you are molding into your cuts but that's not what we're going to be using this tool for today. I'm going to show you guys how to make a ribbon or a rope design out of this tool. This tool here. And I know that sounds crazy because it's like, how are you going to take a steep triangle beveler and make a rope or ribbon border? Aha! That's the thing. What we're going to get off into. And that's, again, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs, children of all ages, this is what we do uh, is I sit and I play around with my tools um, and finally really learn what they're going to do. So what's going to happen is, um, I, and first off, I'm going to give you guys a quick angle of my new slab that I just a customer, one of my customers had done. Man, look at that. Isn't that nice? And he cut my logo into my new slab piece, my logo and the company name into the slab piece. Oh, man. I thought that was just excellent. I I, I thought that was, I mean, I was really speechless. But I, I had to brag on him. So if anybody out there, if you need your, your marble or your slab done, your granite done, um, hit up, hit up Rocky Daniels. Okay, so let's get off into this. Uh, I'm going to case my leather real quick. So I'll be right back after this leather case. So you guys hang on. Okay, and we're back. My leather has been cased. I want to make sure you guys see that. And everything is done. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut two lines here and it really doesn't make a difference about how deep or how big the lines are you cut because this technique will work on anything on on, on any in anything and so i'm just showing you guys how to do this and how to lay this out and also what i'm going to do i'm going to cut out a letter here um, let's just do something simple, like a C. And this is just to give you guys, so if you wanted to do a little, um, do something different with your lettering, you can. It's not a perfect C, but I want you guys just to understand that this will work uh, anywhere, anytime. Okay, now, so the C is done, our B is, I mean, our lines are done. And now, the trick that I find out into doing this is to make sure, make sure that you go opposite of each um, layout. So if you're laying this out this way, and what you want to do, you want to put this line. Okay, sorry about that. You guys had a glitch in the camera. But what we're going to do, I'm going to lay the edge of this triangle on to 
enter my line of channel, my channel line. I guess to make this even more perfect, let's go ahead and just do this real right. Do this right. I'm going to take my modeling spoon and I'm just going to slightly push that down a little bit just to give it a little rounded effect. Just to give it a little roundness. Taking the modeling spoon and pushing that down. Because if this was a border or is, and then you can use, and you guys can see that. You see how that's rounded, um, giving that rounded look right there. And that's very cool. And, of course, the more you lay your spoon flat, the more it's going to round that edge. It doesn't have to, you don't have to burnish it. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is just round it off. This is cause a little separation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this tool straight up and give it a nice little lick. And I'm going to give it enough spacing just to go down the channel of my side. And you can see that, you guys can see that, correct? I'm hoping you can see that. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Same thing as I did on this one here, and we're just gonna stand it straight up, just to get that little pitch. Now, I'm gonna turn this around, and now, the thing, the, here's the trick. I want to match up my triangle with the bottom part of this one. And I want to give it just a little bit of leather in between each one. And I'm going to show you guys this. And this is what's going to cause the rope or the twist. It's going to make it appear that the leather is twisting or like if you're looking at a rope, it's going to make it look as if, there we go. It's going to give it that twisting type of motion. That if you guys have seen the big navy ropes or whatever. Now, that's the thing. You want to make sure that the, the tool is straight up. And where it gives you that nice raised indention right here. And then when you come back, to when you follow that up, it's going to give it that nice raised look here. And this is where the twisting uh, or the turning manipulation of the eye comes into. It's like that rope has been turned or twisted. And then it'll work the same way if you guys have, even in your letters. So if we're going to take that and... And you'll probably, you probably can do this better with a with a beveling tool. You can do it better with a beveling tool. Let me find a smooth beveler to get this going with. Uh, I can use that one. That'll be fine. And 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 here's one thing too that you guys want to remember: even when you're doing beveling work, you. The great part about it is you, or not the great part about it is, what you want to do is use rapid fires, what I call rapid fires. And you guys can probably hear the tool, how much I'm tapping it. And then I'll show you guys how to get those raised uh, tool marks out. And this is just a little small beveler for this particular piece. I would have used a larger one, but I just grabbed the first one that I saw just so I can get it going. So if you have small tools and then you're finding yourself with, hey, man, I'm getting a lot of tool marks into my leather. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of those in just a second after I tool this. Now, this is the key one, one of the key parts, I think, 
that's about this particular design about this particular border design and which I'm going to call it the rope pattern and it's not a, another situation to where it's it's not my particular style or not my particular design uh, this has been around for a long time in the leather world uh, before they actually started making uh, rope tools and I do have a rope tool if you guys want to know that and uh, let me grab it right quick this is one rope tool and again I can't remember where I bought this oh Tandy this is a craft tool from Tandy and it's the R nine five six r nine five six and this is a rope tool and just to give you guys a little quick uh oh and the thing about this one is you have to make sure that you lay this one just right and i did this without any bordering too but if, if you can put a put you a a, a line border there and you can turn this certain ways to where it will copy and mimic a rope. Haven't used this too much, so I really haven't had a chance to master that one like I would love to. But um, and we're gonna do the same thing with this too as we did with the lines. Just going to make that. Uh, yeah, just going to space this out, stand it straight up, and you want to stay in that line of that channel. Just give it enough to separate, and actually you can separate that as much as you want, depending on how big the illusion you want to cast with the eye, how big how big of a casting you want to do uh, uh, on the eye of this thing. And we're going to follow that right back up with that. Giving it that twisted look. I, I actually love this one better than I do the actual rope tool itself. I actually like it better. Because it gives me a little bit more creativity. A little bit more creativity. Boom. Boom. There we go. There we go. Let me get the camera angle back up right so you guys can, we can do this the right way. I think I'm going to give me a little height on my, and there it is. Doing the rope pattern. The rope pattern to give it that twisted look. And it even works inside of your letters too. So hey, if you want to give your letters that, that little twisted look. Now, if you guys are using a stencil or whatever out there to do your rope patterns, I mean, or, or do your letters, or if you've come up with a uh, downloaded pattern, whatever, give your letters and your, and your borders a little bit of character. Give it a little, switch the game up a little bit. And then we can you can go off into a whole lot of different other things and different angles and stuff like that. So um, that's one using the, the 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 steep triangle beveler, smooth beveler, to uh, do a rope design or a rope border. And again, this tool is the F nine four one F nine four one. Hey, right, I'm going to sign off on you guys. It's uh, 14. We're at the 14 minute mark. Like I told you before, this is not a long video, but I'll come right back because I have some more tools that just come in and I'm going to be showing you some other different prints and layouts. Um, I think the next one uh, we'll probably do uh, is, uh, um, matter of fact, I know the next one that we'll probably do is taking the um uh going back and showing you guys another trick with the basket weave too uh and then we how we're going to incorporate that into some other artwork on the sheridan artwork side hey this is robert the leather cowboy Muhammad right here premier leather craft is down here in the dirty dirty with another video 
the F914 doing a rope pattern. See you guys on the other side. Peace.